Hello everybody, here is Thomas Stünkel, founder of commissioningcoach.com, a commissioning engineer and a commissioning manager. Welcome to part 3 of my 10 parts commissioning video mini training for commissioning newbies. I hope you already enjoyed part 1 and part 2. In this third part I want to give you a um, detailed explanation of key element number 2, mechanical completion. You will learn which items have to be carefully considered for a successful mechanical completion. As always, I'm using the mind map format for this presentation because it's easier to remember. And of course, you can download this mind map on my download section on www.commissioningcoach.com. So, let's start with a detailed explanation of key element number two, mechanical completion. The nine key elements of successful plant commissioning. Element two, mechanical completion. I want to give you at first the definition for mechanical completion. Checking and testing of equipment and construction to confirm that the installation is in accordance with drawings and specifications and ready for pre-commissioning or commissioning in a safe manner and in compliance with project requirements. I put the OR in capitals and I marked it bold because mechanical completion can mean ready for pre-commissioning or it can mean ready for commissioning. I will explain this a little bit more detailed later. Typical tasks for mechanical completion are divided by disciplines. Mechanical, piping, structural, electrical, instrumentation. Typical tasks for mechanical are, for example, visual inspection for complete and correct installation, verification of nameplate details at tanks, vessels, rotating equipment and other machines, internal inspection of tanks and vessels, hydrostatic test of vessels and tanks. It can be take a long time, don't underestimate hydrostatic tests. I have experience from one plant and there was a column, it was nearly 100 meter high and it took several weeks only to fill it up with water by trucks. Vendor representatives for large and or complicated equipment. It's a good idea to have the vendor representative on site for complicated compressors, blowers, pumps, big pumps, and so on. Dimension control is included in a typical task. Bolt tensioning, preservation. Typical tasks for piping are, for example, NDT is done, non-destructive testing, pipe supports completed. All items subject to damage during flushing, cleaning and pressure testing are removed. Blowing, flushing, chemical cleaning, drying, preservation, reinstatement, bolt tensioning. Insula insulation and flow coding is included as well, but I put it here in brackets because during this time not all parts of the pipe will be completely insulated. Normally only the straight pipes will be insulated and the flange connections will be free for later checking and for example if pre-commissioning tasks start later for opening the flanges and to blow in or blow out. Flow coding will be done usually later as well. The inspection of all supporting structure is the typical task for the structural discipline. Electrical. We have to inspect cable trays, cable tray supports, the cable tray fill, the cables itself, the band radius of the cables, the wiring, the termination and the grounding and for sure mega testing. 
instrumentation. Inspections are similar to the electrical inspections. So, cable trays, cable tray supports, cable tray fill, cables, bent radius, wiring, termination and grounding. And additionally, we have to validate instruments. We have to validate the valves. Loop checks have to be done, flushing of tubing, tightness test of tubing. So, now the big question. What is included into mechanical completion? The only right answer is, it's defined in the contract. And this can vary from client to client and from plant to plant. So, if you are not sure which activities are really included into mechanical completion, take the contract, read it, read it again, understand it, and then you are really sure what is included. I will give you two examples. Example number one. Here you can see our key element for successful plant commissioning. It starts with planning. It goes through construction completion, PNID checking, pre-commissioning, mechanical completion, commissioning, startup, initial operation, performance test and post commissioning. And in this example you can see mechanical completion. This means it's ready for commissioning. And in this task the construction and commissioning team is involved. And this means in detail. Construction is done, hydro testing is done, mechanical completion testing and pre-commissioning is done. Therefore we have here another milestone and this is called usually construction completion. And this means ready for pre-commissioning, mainly the construction team is involved in this task and it means construction and hydro testing is done. So you can see in this example the pre-commissioning activities are included into the mechanical completion. Mechanical completion means I'm ready with all my pre-commissioning activities like flowing, blowing, flushing, cleaning and all these things. So let's check example number two. It starts as well with planning. Then we have the mechanical completion milestone PNID checking, pre-commissioning, commissioning, startup, initial operation, performance test, post-commissioning. But here, mechanical completion means it's the same like construction completion. And this is the same like ready for pre-commissioning. The construction and commissioning team is normally involved in this task. And in detail it means construction done, hydro testing done, mechanical completion testing done. And the PIN ID checking, usually it takes place as well uh, at the same time. So, mechanical completion in this example means ready for pre-commissioning. I will start with pre-commissioning activities after me mechanical completion milestone is reached. So, again, Please remember, mechanical completion is only defined per contract. You have to check, you have to read the contract and to understand it. This is the only right answer, the contract. And it can vary from client to client and as well from plant to plant. I summarize the third lesson. We learned all items which have to be carefully considered for a successful mechanical completion. We know that the definition of mechanical completion depends on the contract. And every plant is different. In lesson number four, I will speak in more detail about the third key element, PNID checking. So, please sign up for my Commissioning Coach newsletter and I will keep you up to date about new training lessons. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Thomas Stünkel.